So let's go over what I will be taking to Japan. But first, a quick detour. steepest driveways ever if you look right out but it you have to like walk backwards coming down this thing it is really steep so here I am at my grandparents house is one of my favorite houses to come to just I don't know it's the, it's the the nature and the wood and everything about it is just so so cool to go to The amount of decks this place has is insane. So I'm on the lower deck right now. And then you have like the second tier deck right there. And then the top deck up there. And then basically you just you go through all of this, these woods over here to keep going up the different decks. And then after all the decks, you go all the way down again, which some quite steep stairs here. And then you are basically, this is a lake, but it still needs to be dredged to sort of fix a little bit more of it but you have like this beautiful path as you can see right there and yeah it's just a beautiful place overall this path is actually a really fun one to walk because there are some beautiful houses on this thing like uh, some giant sort of houses with you know amazingly large decks as well like that one over there we're here today to fix a microwave it broke, so we're here to help out and to help fix it, which should be should be pretty fun. And there we go, it only took about three hours. Now let's get back to what I'm taking to Japan. I wanna travel as light as possible, so I'm gonna be taking as little as possible. I wanna take a backpack and then maybe a laptop bag as well. And then after that, nothing else. I wanna be able to travel with just those two things on me and sort of work from there. First main backpack that I'm gonna be bringing is the Fairpoint 70 liter with the Fairpoint day pack on it as well. Uh, this is a two backpack sort of combination. The first one is the big 70 liter. That's the thing that goes around back. It's got the hip straps, got the uh, shoulder straps, and then the load bearing straps um, over the shoulders. And then it also has a day pack, which is a detachable uh, sort of, I think it's 15 liter pack that you can take off and it's like it says a day pack so you can go put the luggage in your room and then use that for everything else during the day. One of the great points about this backpack is that if you flip it over, all of that stuff, you know, the shoulder straps, the belt strap and everything like that actually will fold into it and then you can zip it all up. So you can use it as checked luggage, uh, put it under a plane, you don't have to worry about anything getting caught or snipped or anything like that. And then once you get to your destination, you take it out, you unzip it and then it becomes a backpack again a great travel backpack. The next laptop bag I will be bringing is going to be just a generic sort of laptop bag. Um, I don't exactly know the model. If I find it, I'll go ahead and throw it in the description and a little text right here. But from what I know, it's just sort of a generic one. I got it as a hand-me-down from my dad. So I'm gonna be using that over there as well to store some of the more technical aspects and my sort of work, mobile work studio as well. So let's talk tech. What tech am I going to be bringing while I go to Japan? Well, there's a couple of different things. The first and the main thing I'm bringing is going to be my XPS 15 laptop. This is a beast and it's something that I bought specifically for this journey. It's very, very lightweight and it'll help me do some work while I am traveling Japan as well. And then I bought a nice hard case for it as well. I'm also going to be bringing some Sony headphones. They're uh, noise canceling headphones. Really great for plane rides and anything else. Uh, just sort of, you can click a button and it's like you go into your own little world. Along with that, I'm gonna be bringing this camera, which is the Sony A6500, along with a Joby tripod, which is the bendable tripod that uh, will be housing it and is good for like vlogging. And then on top of that is going to be a Rode shotgun mic. 
Then next, as sort of a B-roll camera, I'll just have the GoPro 4 Silver and record in 4K so it can match these this quality and it'll be a great secondary camera for doing um, other recording that this camera wouldn't fit with. And finally, I'm going to be bringing my second monitor. It's a very, very lightweight travel monitor. And this is so, like I said, whenever I'm doing my work, I can work with a second monitor, which is just like this setup right here. Uh, it can help the editing process really speed up. As for clothes, I'm not bringing anything too special. I'm just going to be bringing um, two pairs of shorts and then probably a couple pairs of gym shorts, maybe four or five shirts, and then of course, you know, socks, underwear, everything like that. But that is about it. That about sums up what I will be bringing to Japan. Uh, the next leg of this trip is going to be packing it all together and then actually taking a train from here all the way up to uh, New York City where we're going to be flying out of. And then from New York, we will go to Beijing like I talked about in the last video. So if you wanna follow the journey, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you got any questions or anything like that, throw them in the comment section below. I'd love to answer any questions you have about traveling Japan or my preparations to travel Japan, my current plans, anything like that. Throw them in the comments below. I'm really excited to talk about it. Until next time, guys. See ya.